Steve from Boxing UK and Association of Supreme CBD. Two and two days, Pauli Malinaj, he's smart as a carrot. Yeah, yeah. Great to see you back here. Here we are, here we are. Good night, Steve. Yeah, of course, of course. The, the hotel's comfortable. I need to start the interview on a bit of a negative, but one of the greatest stories of the whole event last night was there's no bar to test room for this. Is that... For this fight, really, it was interesting. Yeah, I mean, not, 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 some, not shocked at all, but yeah, interesting. Interesting, interesting. It has to be a willingness to want to clean up the sport in order, in order to clean up the sport. I don't think there's, a, there's no willingness to clean up the sport, let's be honest. I mean, especially here where you had a string of failures recently on these shores, you would think, you know, that would be one of the main things they would include in, 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 in a promotion like this based on the recent result, results and run of form here, but instead they go the opposite way. So, you know, it's it's pretty obvious. I mean, you know, and I'm not saying any of these guys are dirty or not because you'll never know, but without the testing, you can always wonder, right? But I mean, it's, it's, it's not a conversation even worth having because nobody wants to Nobody's gonna fix it, nobody wants to fix it, but everybody wants to play pretend like they care. So I'm not gonna play pretend like I care, I'd rather not talk about it. Without naming names, there's some pretty high level fighters on these shows that have failed tests. To a man, a woman, they all deny their innocence, Paulie. Are the bands big enough? Can we just kick these guys out of the score? No, not only are they not big enough, they're not unilateral. I mean, there's a big ban for a guy who doesn't really mean anything, so it's easy to bully him around or her, or her around. But but then when there's a very a real mega star, you know, you don't want to bully them too mad because you know then then you everybody loses out on money when they don't fight. So you know people allow money to cloud their judgment, and so uh, when you do that, you know, you're, nothing's genuine. So that's why I'm saying it's, it's not worth the conversation. his progression. I'm very curious to watch his progression. Um, I like Frazier and the White Rhino. Uh, you know, that's always, I mean, I, that's a, an interesting one to me, you know. Frazier obviously is an ascending guy. The White Rhino was always a character back in the day. Um, Kayla Meyer is a good fighter, you know, you get to see her. Uh, I think it's a good card overall. There's a, there's a, few, uh, a few good fights here. Uh, Florian Marco is always fun. He's, uh, he's very popular and, and has a, a big following, a big backing behind him. He's fighting, uh, he's fighting a, a live opponent, you know, so I think uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun show. For all of our Watch goals at Wembley Stadium. 80,000 people. I don't think so. I mean, I mean, I'll blow him a kiss if I see him. You know, he's a poor guy. You know, everybody's been beating him up lately. That way, he's not a kiss. So, if he comes in, I'll blow him a kiss for a minute. He'll like that. He's into that kind of stuff.